delicious Singapore hawker foods at Old Airport Road Food Centre. Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. Today, we are having some dumplings and some noodles with pork ribs and prawn, some skewered meats, some satay, and some beef noodles. So join me as I eat my way through Old Airport Road Food Centre because there's so much good food here that we cannot cover it all at, in one video. So join me after the intro. We are now at the Kota MRT station, which is also on the Circle Line. And here, we'll be heading towards Exit A. So what you do is, once you get out of the gantry, you turn left and you keep heading down the corridor. This corridor will lead you to Exit A, which will bring you to the Old Airport Road, is where we are going to go to to find our food center. So once you reach the end of the corridor, you turn right and you can see here our exit which we can take out which we are going to use is the escalator to take us up from this level which is basement 1, the ticketing concourse all the way up to the street level which is here and directly in front of us is actually the Geylang River but we're not going to go for a dip in the river. No, no, no. We're going to turn right. And once you turn right, in front of you now is the Old Airport Road. And we're going to turn right again and keep walking along this road. Straight down that direction. Or alternatively, we can actually, instead of taking the escalator up, we go, we turn left a bit and we head towards the lift or S or elevator and this lift will take us up all the way to the street level so this is the lift if you take it up to the street level it will bring you here so once you get out of the lift you turn left which will lead you to this platform here which will take you down street level where we need to get out to this is the escalator that we took out earlier so go down here turn left and then make a u-turn by turning right and in front of you now is actually the old airport road so just keep heading straight and cross here at the traffic light so on your left now is actually the old airport road and you just need to keep heading straight that direction and on your right, you will see a lot of HDB flats. But we're not going to go there. We'll keep heading straight. And in front of you will actually be a bus stop. What you do is just keep walking past the bus stop. Like I said, these are HDB flats. And once you walk past the bus stop, you'll notice there's actually an overhead bridge. Which, what you need to do is, you just need to keep going straight, walk past the overhead bridge, and just keep walking straight down this direction. So you'll be heading down here. On your left will be Old Airport Road. You'll be walking against traffic, straight down that direction. Once you reach the end of, when you reach this straight this direction, what you will do is, you will reach another traffic light. And here, you need to cross the road. And once you cross the road, You'll notice on your right is the old airport road food center. A food center with lots and lots of good food. I have already done two videos here. And still, there's still so much more good food that I can still make more videos of more good food they can eat here. 
So that's what I'm going to do. So here, you can, you can see, is the old airport road food center. It used to be two stories. Then they change it to the, on top there is retail, at the bottom there is all the food centers. But still, there's still lots and lots and lots of good food you can eat here. And I will show you. If you want to know more about it, you can actually refer to the, my videos where I show you I had my food adventure at all these places, at this food center. And we are back at Old Airport Road Food Center. This food center, there's so much good food that you do not know what to eat. So, that's why you're watching my video, because I will tell you what's good to eat here. And all you need to do is just watch my video and I'll give you all the details. And one of the first stops we're going to stop by is at this shop here called Shanghai Xiao Long Bao. And here they sell Xiao Long Bao and fried dumplings and steamed dumplings. And I decided from this store to try their Xiao Long Bao and their fried dumplings. And here it is. It cost me in total $7.50 for 5 long bao and five fried dumplings so for the fried dumpling it cost me four dollars first thing is you can look at the dumpling you can see the dumpling is actually done very well it's crispy on one side and then steamed on the other side so when you bite into it you have the crispy top layer here and then a nice chewy steam bottom layer and here the skin they did it very well the skin has a very nice chill texture to it which i really enjoy and the filling too done really well when you bite into it full of pocky goodness and here is the xiao long bao which is also good and here the skin is not too thick and also not so thin that when you pick it up the chopstick it will break and when you bite into it there's the burst of flavor of the soup and the pork filling all done very well here i really really like the salon pao and also the fried dumpling the only issue i would have is is slightly on the smaller side very slightly but overall still a very good salon pao and fried dumpling And another surprise find here is this shop called Albert Street Prawn Noodle. And on the sign here, they said they have been operating since 1963. And so this shop does have a bit of a heritage. And so they sell basically pork rib noodles or prawn noodles together with soup or dry. And here I ordered the one with soup, which cost me $5.50 which is their pork ribs prawn noodle the noodles the noodles here they do give a generous amount of noodles and the noodles are cooked well well done with the cooking of the noodles and the broth the broth here is one of the stars of the show when you taste the broth what you taste is a strong flavorful prawn shell taste which is cooked together with pork bones and that's the broth and also with a fried shallot finish which they actually put it uh, later and the pork ribs here they cook until soft and tender the prawn when you bite into it is still nice and it's still very nice and bouncy fresh and it's fresh and the soup is so good and it's so concentrated with the, all the flavors that it's so good until the last drop you drink it until everything is gone. Up next is this store called Chuan Chi Satay, and here they sell um, what you uh, pork satay and chicken satay. And each stick cost me sixty cents, and a minimum order of ten sticks. And here you can see the smoke coming out of the kitchen that they are busy cooking this satay. And they actually only start cooking the satay when you order it. Unfortunately, this place here, 
there is a long queue because a lot of people uh, order in advance for takeaway huge orders so the wait can be quite long so what I ordered here was actually five chicken satay and five pork satay pork satay is not a satay that you can find normally uh, at satay places so in total it cost me six dollars okay first of all uh, since it's freshly cooked it's still nice and warm the pork satay as you can see here has a very nice burnt caramelized area that is very nice the meat here is has been seasoned in a very sweet kind of seasoning and quite nice the meat is nice and tender but the pork is slightly tough but other than that still a good satay uh, the size of the satay is a bit small but what's quite nice is this uh, satay sauce which is a bit too oily but it has a very nice uh, sweet peanutty taste and slightly tart from the pineapple that they put inside and lastly we are at J&J special beef noodles and here they sell braised beef noodles and here you can see all the different prices for it but what I ordered from this store is their braised beef noodles surprisingly the noodles here is slightly different than other noodles other beef noodles you get from other places first of all um, what you have here you actually they actually serve the noodles uh, with thin uh, rice noodles and the sauce that you see at the bottom of the bowl is actually the braising sauce that they use to braise the beef okay, so you have like a thin uh, rice flat rice noodles which unfortunately doesn't really absorb much of the braising stock and when you eat the noodles with the uh, onions and the cilantro and the coriander it doesn't have much of a dim extra dimension to it it has a nice savory beefy taste with the noodles but that's all but what's really really good here what i really really like is their braised beef look at that there are huge pieces of braised beef and also many many pieces of braised beef so they are very really generous with their beef portions and the beef here is braised very nicely very flavorful you can taste nice braising sauce that they use to flavor the noodles and the beef is nice tender and flavorful and there's a very nice bouncy texture in your mouth very nice mouthfeel and very good braised beef and so that brings us to the end of another food adventure here at the old airport road food center like i told you there's so much good food here you will not know what to eat so having my video will help you to decide what to eat but i suggest you to watch all my videos before you go because it will help you make your mind help you make up your mind on what to eat so before we go please do me a favor please help me by liking my video sharing my video and subscribing to my channel and the last thing but the most important thing the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next food adventure see you there bye bye